All right, welcome back. In our next session, we're going to be doing extrude cutting of these two pockets right here. Now, they're going to be extrude cuts of two different depth pocket, but we're going to do them in the same session. Let's go ahead and open up our drawing again. And you're going to notice that this pocket is only half an inch deep, according to our front view right here. This symbol means depth, okay? And then the second pocket, which is the big circle, is going to be an inch deep. Let's go ahead and get started on that. So come over here under the extrude. We're still under the extrude solids feature. And go ahead and select this pocket right here. Okay. Click on OK. And it's going to be a cut body. So let's go ahead and cut rectangle. Okay. I'm going to place cut in between those two. And I'm going to keep everything the same, but when I go for the distance, it's going to be half an inch as stated. Okay, so select all of this, type in 0.5, hit enter. Okay, now if you don't see anything cut, always go up and make sure that you have the right type selected. In my case, I forgot to select cut body. So I'm going to click on cut body and as you can see now the preview is correct. So. Any mistake I make in this DVD, I like to keep in the DVD just so I can show you guys how I fixed it, okay? So I forgot to click on cut body and then I had to go back and see, you know, why did my preview not show when I selected half an inch? And that's because I kept on creating body and obviously I do not want to create a body, I want to cut from the block. So I created my first part. Now if I like this, all I have to do is click on OK and create new operation. So click on OK. And now it's a new operation. For my new operation, select the circle and click on OK. Okay, so I'm going to do extrude cut circle. I'm going to make sure I click on cut body this time. And I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to select one inch. And hit enter. And there you go again. So if I click on OK this time, you're going to notice that this is half an inch deep just like I wanted. And then this is an inch deep. If I want to go back and double check it, you could just go back to your model in the drawing and you will see that this looks right and this looks about right as well. Okay, so there we go. This concludes our session. We've just created a two extrude cutting operations in the same session or in the same without exiting basically. And that's how you do that. So if there's a lot of different cuts that you want to make, uh, this is a very nice feature to keep just clicking on OK and create new and you can keep creating new extrusions, either cutting or bosses or bodies uh, while remaining under the extrude solid feature.